Welcome to the Hollywood Racks installation video for the 2019 Sportrider SE2 bike rack. Sportriders are platform style racks and can fit almost any type and size of bike. Follow the instructions provided in the box as this video is only to assist you with the instruction sheet. Slide the hitch tube into the trailer hitch until it stops. Remove the locking head from the hitch pin. Insert it through the hole in the trailer hitch and receiver tube until it passes through the opposite side and reinstall the lock. Tighten the front lever until good and snug. The front lever position after tightening should always be pointed upwards or to the side to avoid damage when going up or down steep driveways. Before installing the main beam, make sure the landing pin is in place. Next, retract the front spring pin and insert the main beam into the bracket of the hitch tube. The front spring pin should drop into the hole closest to the center of the rack. Insert the bolt and washer through the holes and install the nut and washer to the bolt end. Tighten using adjustable 19 mm or 3 quarter inch wrenches. Slide the wheel tubes over the square posts on the support beam. Square holes should be on top. Insert the carriage bolts through the holes. Install the thick round washer and the nut onto the bolt end. Finally, tighten the nut securely and evenly using a wrench. Remove the L-pin from the front bracket and rotate the center post by lifting it towards the driver's side of the vehicle. Insert the L-pin into the lower hole to secure its vertical position. Before installing, make sure the lock is in the vertical unlocked position. Position the long frame hook on top of the square post with the hook facing the vehicle. Push the release button in and slide the frame hook down onto the post. The release button should be pushed in when installing the hook onto the post. Repeat the same action for the short hook, except face the short hook away from the vehicle. Now, install the wheel trays by loosening the knobs and sliding them onto the wheel tubes. Use a Phillips screwdriver to install the stop screws into the bottom of the wheel tubes. Remove the L-pin and rotate the vertical post to its folded position. Reinsert the L-pin. Retract or pull back the front spring pin and rotate the rack towards the rear of the car until it clicks into the folded position. To return the rack to its in-use position, retract the rear spring pin and gently lower the rack until it clicks into its use position. To tilt down, lift up the rack and remove the landing pin. Pull the front spring pin and gently lower the rack down to its tilted position. Follow the reverse steps to bring the rack back to its in-use position. Place the bike in front of the rack so that the vertical post is aligned near the bike's lowest point of the top tube. Adjust the inside wheel holders so they align with the bike's wheels. Place the bike onto the wheel holders and make final wheel holder position adjustments if necessary. Tighten knob securely. Push down on the frame hook while engaging the lever. Do not overcompress the padded hook onto the frame. For top tubes other than round shaped, you can use extra padding, such as a sponge or piece of cloth, as needed. Tighten the Velcro straps around the bike's wheels. As the final step, pull up on the plastic housing to double check it is properly engaged and lock the ratchet clamp for security. The lock should be in the horizontal position. When carrying two bikes, the handlebars must be staggered. Try to place the heaviest bike closest to the vehicle. Repeat the steps for the second bike. 